I'm ask Kermaya. I would like to ask a question about an experience I've had uh, for almost 10 years now. Um, it's as if my energy body is always fighting against itself. There's always a feeling of energy density and pressure in my mouth and under my nose. It's like a black ball of energy always moving. And the only thing that seems to refer to the experience I'm having uh, is alchemical texts or the metaphor of the rising energy and suffering of Christ or the body of suffering spoken uh, of by Eckhart Tolle. Uh, sometimes it's so intense that it makes me vomit uh, like a whitish liquid or it makes me do grimace. grimace. I know this is going to be a little weird, but I've also had uh, about 20 experiences where I'm in my bed alone and there's like a movement of energy in front of me. It's like it, the energy in front of me is trying to take away the, that dense energy and replace it with a more uh, calm sensation. And it works for a few hours. It, it's like it's energetic beings mm -hmm. working, helping, uh, helping me to do this. And also when the, this sad song starts, uh, it triggers it and makes the sensation go away. Or when I bend down, but after sometimes it comes back. So my question is, is this uh, the transmutation of my suffering body, my pain body? Or is it something else like, I don't know, black magic or weird stuff like this? And what, what can I do in this situation? It's very unpleasant and I would like some clarity. Yes, Esteban. Firstly, I'd like to just address your um, idea that this could be your pain body. So, there is no such thing as a pain body. This is a psychological description for a very physical thing. So there is no such thing as a pain body and certainly no such thing as your pain body. Pain is something which, which is foreign to the system and is only there to push the system in certain directions. It is not something that is intrinsic to the system. So if you say it's your pain body, it's already the wrong track. And even if you use the word pain body, this is a, as I said, it's a psychologization of a physical phenomenon. Not just physical in the sense of physical pain, even emotional pain or conceptual pain or material physical in their basis. But just coming back to your, you know, description of spitting out this white stuff. This is not the first time that I've uh, heard and seen actually of this white stuff being spit out and what it is, is a it's a product it's a material product of a cleansing of the chakras and the whole spinal system by the Kundalini energy I remember you actually from Rishikesh there is even a video where there is this question and answer with you uh, if I remember right and, yes. Um, yes. And the reason why this 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 black ball of energy quiets down when you bend down is because the system is then in a surrender posture. Or when you get on a satsang like this, it's again in surrender posture. And when you are not in that surrender posture, you are again pushed into a corner in a sense by this by this shakti in the system forcing you into increasing and ongoing surrender so it's all very physical it's material it's a material thing that goes on and as far as your experience with the beings that are around you or you feel a certain energy that is being relieved by the presence of these beings there's no concrete proof for any of that obviously but that there are energies at play that work against you as well as for you is a is a given in the experience of many who expand the consciousness 
So these energies that are relieving you are doing that because in that Leela, in that dance with this Kundalini Shakti, which is fighting the ego and it's taking over of the system, there are also energies, you can even call it protection guides or, 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 or spiritual protectors that give you some time to breathe every once in a while. And unless, and I already told you this in Rishikesh, I remember it quite well, in one of the satsangs in any case, saying that for a person like you, there is no choice but to bend. There are some people who slide their way through life and manage it somehow. With you, it's going to be very difficult and it will get worse and worse if you don't understand that it's a daily thing, it's morning to night all the time. So searching for a pain body is only going to underscore the, the experience rather than take you beyond it. If I say there's no pain body, then what are you going to do? You know, it's like holding on to something which one has to let go of at one point, 20th century spiritual ideas. You just see, it is the ego at play, and it is pushing you in a certain direction, which is causing pain to the system. And as you bend in every situation, this ego reduces, and the moment you stop this bending process, the moment you start giving in to the ego, back you are where the pain starts to take over. So there is clearly, clearly not just the bending in the physical that is asked of you and, and is actually demanded of you, but also the bending in the emotional, which means that whenever there is an emotional wave taking over, you bend into surrender posture, not allowing the, the, the ego of that wave to sweep you away, but immediately moving into deep touch with the soul within, with the center of your being. And the same when there is a conceptual wave of ego, again you bend, you bend, you bend, you just have to, you have no choice. So, I would suggest to leave behind these ideas, focus on what surrender is. That is the, the key, that's the golden key for this century. And we don't know what the next century brings, but at least for this one, it's certainly not focusing on the pain and actually identifying with it as mine. No, it's not yours. Pain is not natural. Pain may have its, its functions here and there, but it's not something to focus on, because it's an expression of ego, in an extended sense. Yes, so, Esteban, that's where, that's where the focus is. You, you cannot shift from that focus, you just simply cannot. You have to pull yourself into surrender state again and again and again. And yes, you can search for all kinds of psychologization, but it's not going to change anything unless you go into that continuous state of deep, deep, deep surrender to Source. Being an instrument of that Source, being the master of the emotions, the master of the thoughts, all of that happens through that surrender process. And this black thing, this black energy you feel in the mouth, it will, it will dissolve gradually, but that posture can't change. It has to be there continuously, reminding yourself all the time. That's if you want to move beyond it, and not hold on to it. Yes, Esteban? Thank you very much, it's very clear. Thank you. Yes. 